Okay, so when editing this, I noticed that the entire footage was like over an hour long. So we'll have to do two videos um, on the uh, advent calendars. Um, there's four in there, so we'll probably do two and two so that there's like half an hour videos just because it's a, a bit insane. No one is going to watch an hour long video. So um, yeah, that's why it might be a bit weird. Stay tuned. Hi guys, um, we have something very exciting that we're doing today. Uh, I'm very excited. This is Alex, my boyfriend. Are you excited? I'm very excited, yes. We're yes. excited. So basically, this is the type of video that I am obsessed with this time of year, and that is unboxing advent calendars. Yay! I love advent calendars. Uh, usually chocolate ones, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but we're not doing a chocolate one now. We actually have four categories that we're doing. Um, so we're in the random order, I don't know how we'll end up actually open. It's basically how excited we are for each. That's what's coming up first. So, but yeah, the categories are bookish advent calendar, beauty advent calendar, uh, bath and body, and then a special surprise at the end. I know that's the last one. So everything else, is kind of randomly chosen, but the last one is a special surprise. So stick around for that. The bookish calendar, which is actually a Christmas present from Alex to me. Thank you. Welcome. Um, so is this Harry Potter one? It's really cool. I think you said it has 25. 25, yes. Cool. So 25 uh, little packets to open. I'm extremely excited about this. Uh, so I think I'll just jump straight into it. I can't wait. Um, I, as I've said in a previous video, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Look at Hedwig over there. Our puppy. Kind of. Um, so I will just jump straight into this. Uh, door number one is right here. So I'll open it now. Trying not to break it. Okay, I have to put this down because I might break this. They're very sticky. Yeah. Oh, they actually are. Okay, let's pull this out. Oh my god! Okay, so it's a little booklet with Hogwarts holidays written on it. And when you open it, it's just a little story about muggles and st This is very cute. This is, by the way, this is inspired by the movies. Uh, not necessarily the books from what I read on it um, and many of the little doors or like packets in it are actually photos from the films which is really cool this first one is Hermione creating a polyjuice po potion in the bathroom it's very cute jumping to door number two let me identify it first um, door number two. Oh, okay. Door number two is right here at the bottom. It's a tiny one. Tiny door. Well, it's just the early days of December, should we? So, you know, not to get too excited. This glue situation is a bit crazy. Oh, these are little tags, which are actually Ravenclaw tags for your presents. How cute is this? This is actually good because I can use this at Christmas. Yep. So this is great. They are so adorable. Okay, putting them here. Door, Door number, three. number three is again at the bottom right there. And that is a photo of Harry playing wizard's chess on his first Christmas at Hogwarts. So I will open that. Oh, oh my God, this is a little, I am, hold on. I am freaking out right now. So it's a Deathly Hallows wooden like Christmas like Christmas tree ornament. Look at this thing! This is brilliant. Is it, wood? it is wood, look. So we could have like a Harry Potter themed Christmas tree. We can, yeah. We're doing it. We're, do we're doing I'm not it. I'm not hearing otherwise we're doing it. Number four. So December 4th. Let me find it. Oh, it's right here at the top. It has a little Christmas tree um, drawing on it. So let's open it. Oh, this is adorable. It's a tiny, tiny coloring book. I actually have a very big Harry Potter coloring book, 
um, but it's lost somewhere. When we moved here, it we put it somewhere. I, th I think. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> we'll have to look for it. This is adorable. So it has scenes from the movies that you can color in. This is adorable, honestly. Look how cute that is. Day five. There it is. Oh no, you found it before I did. So it's this very big packet at the top with the Gryffindor uh, house on it. So I'll just open that. Oh, oh wow. my god okay so these are christmas cards that are extremely cute i'm sorry but no one is getting these i'm just gonna hold on to them Wait, forever i want to see. see if there's anything inside no they're blank they yeah. are blank okay so you can write into them and possibly give to people which who would do that like okay so there's this one with uh ron harry and hermione by the christmas tree there is this one, which is like pixel art almost. Um, yeah, I think these are all pixel art. Yeah, it's yeah. really cute. This one, look at that. That is so cute. Whoa, I want and to get that one. And then this is with all of the houses. That is so Christmassy. Door six, it's right here. I really like the fact that they are like behind each other somehow. So as you can see, there are three tinier ones and then a very big one right here. I'm very in interested to see what's in that. You're very efficient with the space. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so let's go to door six. Ooh. Oh my God, is this a fridge magnet? No, what I is think it? it is. It might be a fridge magnet with Harry flying on it's the ending scene of uh, oh it is the ending scene yeah. of um prisoner of azkaban yes uh so this is buckbeak and harry flying over the lake and it's moving guys i am this i can't i don't know how we can show this on camera but i, I think don't it... i don't think we can but it's amazing but it looks it's there's so many layers to it yeah i don't know if it's that is so cool i think it may show but it's just really it's really cool I remember having like so many of these as a kid and always being fascinated about how they work. I still don't know how they work. Door seven. seven. Ooh, door seven is right here and it has a scene with Hermione and Victor from the Yule Ball. Victor. Whatever. Krum. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I'm just gonna open door seven. The glue is getting a bit more manageable. Yeah. Ooh! So, okay. House themed. Um, was, what is this like cardboard? Yeah, still. Yeah. For, again, for our Harry Potter Christmas tree. Harry Potter tree. Christmas tree. They know it. So this is Gryffindor. This is Slytherin. This is very weird. Like, look how long that is compared to the Slytherin one. Well, I mean, it's Gryffindor, so. That you have a point. Determination, courage, and bravery. This is Hufflepuff and then Ravenclaw. Fun fact to both Ravenclaws, so yep, you know. Definitely. <laughs> It literally does deserve the small one. Right here. Okay. okay, so door eight right here has Hedwig on it. How cool is that? Okay, let's open it. Or Hedwig is, is not happy. Oh my god, it's little like cards with their patronuses. So you Ooh. get Dumbledore, Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron. That is really cool. So you can see their patronuses on these little cards. And the back has a little um expecto patronum and then a little design it's really cool at number nine it's right here so this is the picture is just hermione harry and ron um so let's just jump into that and open it up okay another little booklet i feel like we could use these as well to decorate the tree because they have these little hanging yeah. things Okay, so this is Magical Moments from The Wizarding World. Um, and it's just moments, for example, when Harry um, created the Patronus. And then just the different things. This is really cool. And the, stories. the illustrations are insane. Door 10. We are, I was about to say, we are nearing the midpoint, but oh, we're not. no, we're not even close. We're not. <laughs> 10, where's 10? Uh, 10 is oh, right 10. Here. This Ooh, is a big one. So, it's a big one. 10 is this one behind these two so let's open that up oh my god Ooh. it's a little mirror of eriset i think is that a picture frame i think 
could be potentially the idea i think is that you treat it as a mirror but i don't know maybe we could put huh. something in it but it's really oh god <laughs> it's oh, no. really cute door 11 i am scared about this one because it is right here and it has the slytherin logo mm. on it so it's a curse hopefully not just let's okay let's be brave okay it's Oh, it's a little notepad, I think. Yeah, so you just, there you go. You just write stuff on it. It's pretty chunky and it has just the Hogwarts logo on it with all the houses and stuff. So very cute, very useful actually. Up next is door 12, which 12. is, oh, another big one. So 12 is, oh, it's right here behind Hogwarts. So it's this one. So let me jump straight into it. Oh, it's actually, it has the little logos of Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. Oh, it's, this is very exciting. It's a little ticket for um, the Hogwarts Express. So you can save. I think you can actually buy something similar at the um, like Wizarding World shop uh, at King's Cross. I remember seeing it there and I don't think I got it. I, I wanted to get it and something happened and I don't own it. So unless I lost it, I don't think I got it. Uh, so I'm excited to have this. This is really cool. Up next, number 13. I don't know where that is. Tiny one. You oh, it's very small. <laughs> okay, so let me show you. It is this one. So I'm very excited to see what they put into that one. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so cute. So this is a bookmark with the little, I can't remember the name of this book, but it was the one that tried to attack Harry's feet. The Monster Book of Monsters? probably I think, that, I, think that's I think that's the one this is so cute i love i love bookmarks like this that you they're just very tiny and you can't really see them this is very cute and again moving into that bookish realm a little bit more uh door 14 is i saw it uh, oh it's right here oh. so it's at the very bottom and it has a little like um what would you call this like Skyline of Hogwarts? Uh, outline, skyline, out skyline. You get it. Yeah. It's a thing with Hogwarts on it. Is this a stick? Oh, this is a Hogwarts crest sticker upside down. <laughs> How cool is that? This is so cute. I love stickers. I used to have a bunch of them on my laptop and then I had to uh, get rid of my laptop because it broke. So I obviously lost all of those stickers and this <clears throat> is great so i'm excited about using it i mean we also got to mention <clears throat> all these prints are really high quality yeah like, like nothing's pixelated or anything it's they're really great yeah. like they're small but they're really high quality so yeah, yeah. completely agree with that um moving into door 15 mm. let's see where it is it's right here oh Ooh. okay so again it's at the bottom right there it has the hogwarts crest on it so let's open it and see what's going on. Oh my God, it's a little letter to Mr. H. Potter. I am dead. And it has- Oh, something. it has the letter. It, no, it, okay, it? this I'm dying. Yes, it is. Ooh. Look at this. How amazing is that? It's the actual letter in a tiny, tiny envelope. To be honest with you, I thought this was gonna be in this big one because I thought that's what they would put, being that it's a letter, but this is so, so much this better. This so good. Right? Wow. Door 16, I think Ooh, is... big one, baby. Oh, yeah. it's the huge it's one. The big one. Okay, guys, it's this right here. I am very excited about this. Let's open it up. Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, so it's one of those things that you put on your door when you don't want to be disturbed. So it says, welcome to Hogwarts on the one side and then studying for my oh, owls oh, oh. on the other side. This is so cute. That is really cool. Honestly, this is brilliant. You can like, use this when you start your work. Just put it on the door. I actually can. Yeah. Door 17 is right here. So this is very cute. It's one of my favorite moments in the first film. It's when Professor Flitwick is actually using magic to put the baubles up on the ginormous Christmas tree. And obviously he's very tiny. So this is such an adorable scene. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in there. Oh, 
this is another bookmark look oh, at wow. this it's a magnetic, oh, it's magnetic. bookmark wow. with the hoggard's crest again this is so adorable honestly this is so cute i love this love cool. love love this Again, this is so high quality. Like I, I really, am surprised. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised because it's like official uh, Warner Brothers stuff and it, it only came out in September of this year. So, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but the print is really well done. I am so excited. I want to keep going, but then I'm stressed that I'm going to run out eventually. It's fine. Okay, door 18. <laughs> door 18 is right here at the top. So let's see what's in there. I think it's another letter. I think. Does it look like it to you? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the list that Harry gets with everything that he needs to have as a first year student. So it's basically what him and Hagrid go to Diagon Alley to shop for. And it's all right here. Okay. That door, would be cool. Door 19. Where are you? It's right here again. So it's this one. We already opened the one behind. So now it's this one. Let's open it up. I mean, I think we should keep this whole advent thing as well because it looks really cool. Definitely. The design that. is really, it's really well done. Oh, these are so oh, cute. Wow. So these are illustrations. Look at that. This is brilliant. Is honestly. This... Oh, it's little like postcards. Like it has the, the postcard layout uh -huh. on the back. And then in front, it's little um, designs. This is incredible, honestly. These are so well done. Look oh, at wow. this. And then again, this is amazing. Like, I'm blown can't... away. This is so cool. You should look at these. You, okay. Your mind will get blown <laughs> again. Wow. So we are at door 20 now. So really getting close to the end. Door 20 is right there, the big one. Let's open that. Okay. Oh wow, coasters. are these, I think, yeah, they are coasters with, so we have Slytherin, we have Ravenclaw, this is the front Ravenclaw, we have Hufflepuff, right there, and then Gryffindor. These are really cool, we already have the wooden house coasters, yeah. but these are really cute as well. Door 21, it's right here, okay, door 21, it's this one, the bigger one at the bottom, let's open that one. We're getting close. Why are you ruining it? I'm not ruining it. <laughs> I don't I'm want really it curious to... what 24 is because it's the biggest one. I don't want it to end. <clears throat> oh, this is, a, it's another sticker with a chocolate frog. So you can just stick this bit oh, and yeah. it looks like the chocolate frog box. This is so cute. I, you know, I'm obsessed with stickers. So I, I mean, if this. it only if it had chocolate, it would have been so much better. I mean, <sighs> it doesn't, unfortunately. Maybe. <laughs> Don't eat Does it. Does it smell like chocolate? Don't eat it. It smells like chocolate. Guys, <laughs> it smells like chocolate. <laughs> These people are crazy. Why does it smell like chocolate? This is so good, honestly. Wow, like, okay. So you have 22, which is the big one here behind these two. Let's open it up. What are these? Oh, so Ooh. it's a little, I think it's like a little story about each of these potions. So let me see if there are more in here. No, I think those are it. So you get a little photo um, with, so there you go. So that's Harry, what is the potion? Draft of Living Dead puts its user to sleep so deep that they appear dead. So there's like a description of all the spells. Yeah. And sort of like a picture representing who kind of, defines the spell itself mm -hmm. plus we have this wonderful little lady with uh where the serum which is the truth serum yeah. yes <sighs> and then a really cool touch it's a handwritten polyjuice potion oh my god it says the recipe for polyjuice potion and that is so good mm -hmm. that's incredible yeah polyjuice potion is a horrible tasting potion period that, that's all we need to know because we is. won't be making it anytime soon Okay, uh, door 23, um, mm. do you see it? Anymore? Yes, tiny one. Oh, yeah, it's very small, so that's why I didn't see it. It's right here, so it's, it's very tiny. 
another sticker this time it has a hogwarts lit written there and then a little illustration it's really cute it's still kind of pixel art it is yeah. i think it's the same uh, uh the, as, the, as this yeah. so it's the same design it's just obviously this is black this is blue uh, but it's the same image. This is so cute. I'm dying. I love the stickers. And the big 24. Door 20. Okay, Alex is very excited. I'm so excited. Just as number 16, door 24 is this huge one. So we want to see what's inside. Also, I am upset that it's just second to last, but it's fine. We'll, we'll get the, the other one next year. We're probably going to come out with Thank it. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, it is. Is it the map? Oh, it's not the map. I don't know. Oh, it what... is. It's it's just a map of hogwarts i think and then the crest kind of on yeah. the other side yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it is it's just a map we were excited because we thought it was the marauders map so uh it's just a map of like the grounds at hogwarts i think and i think this is a very old map yeah but it looks you can really see the cool. wind blowing it's actually just i think those are trolls blowing yeah. wind it's really cool though the i really design, like it yeah the design is really well done okay guys last door is door 25 are you ready for this dun, dun, dun. i'm ready <laughs> okay door 25 has something in it i don't know what it makes a noise it's metal and also Oh my god, it's a oh, little oh Hedwig oh my god. It's the same Hi. design as our cushion. How cute is that? It's that is a little really cool. Hedwig keychain. That is adorable. I can't wait to put this on my keys. I love this. This is, is it so plastic? it's rubber. Oh, it's rubber, even better. Yeah, it's Pretty really cool. cute. I have loved this calendar. We'll be keeping it just because it's so cute. Like this looks amazing. Um, it has everything on the back and I did not look at any of this and he really didn't let me look at any of this. So I tried I had so no hard. Idea. I tried so hard to hide it. It was it was Whoops. it was crazy. I but had to move it around the house so she wouldn't peek at anything. So. We'll jump st straight into the next calendar. Um, so stick around for more opening of things you shouldn't be opening on one day, but we are rascals and we're doing it anyway. See you in a bit. This fun one is from Mad Beauty, which is a brand I'd never heard before until purchasing this. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know if people have mixed feelings. The feelings, I have no idea um, what's happening with this brand. I just saw this and I had to get it because how much Christmasier can you get than a reindeer with a pom-pom red nose? And it's actually soft. How cute is that? Okay, so this is um, the bath and body one. So let's just open it and then you'll tell me what you think about this. I'll do my best. Uh, door one is here. Let's do it. I love pull tabs. So random. Oh, door one is a bath fizzer. It's just so stuck in there that I can't... I can't get it out without breaking my nails. Do you want to push it from behind? Don't ruin it. Okay, we got it out. It's stuck. Oh, there's glue on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is not great. Um, so this is the bath fizzer. I don't think it says... Um, oh, yeah, it's winterberry. Ooh. Yeah. So let's go to door two. It's right here. So let's open it. This smells like pets. How fun for me. Another bath fizzer. This is toasted marshmallow. I just saw that. So that is exciting. The issue is that the actual fizzer is bigger than the door. So I had to destroy it a little bit. This is also pink. Oh, I got it. I think I figured out a way. They are literally stuck to the plastic inside. Like, look at that. Do you see that? Oh, wow. That okay. is glue. Okay, so this is the second bath fizzer in toasted marshmallow. I am curious to see how these perform, honestly. Mm. 
Still um, smells like a pet. I think I also forgot to mention this is 12 days, so you would have to open one every other day um, in December until Christmas. Um, so let's go to door number three. Where is it? Oh, it's the big one at the bottom. Hopefully, the rest go a bit better. Okay. So this is a body wash, but it's again a bit strange. It's placed strange. Yeah, so I mean we gotta show this because it's the, the placement is really How am I supposed to get that out of there? Like <laughs> it's a bit crazy, but I will try. It's kinda hard not ruining the box, which is a shame. Yeah. Sometimes you can keep these, I mean, if they're really well done. This is not very well done. Okay, we got it out. It's quite festive and cute. Um, so it's just Christmas icing body wash. I am intrigued by this. It's, yeah, quite. it looks a bit like glue, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Is this, you wash yourself with this? Hopefully. Is it sealed? Yes. Yes, um, it is. Well, that's good. Okay. Why do they all smell like Pez? Is it, does the box smell like? I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's try to find find door number four. Uh, it's right here. Okay. The tiny one. Yeah, I don't know what could be behind it. Oh, uh, okay. It's a nail file. If I can get it out, it will be. Without ruining my nails, can you get it out? I got this. I think. cute actually it's a little it looks a bit like a dalmatian <laughs> nail file um i would I, go for cow why would you go for cow well, mad beauty maybe mad cow i'm pretty sure that's not what they're going for you could use this actually because they don't need it so Ooh, that feels good it's soft there you go i made someone happy it's very grippy i like it okay Door five is right here, so I'm curious to see what's in there. Okay, we got it out. So it's very similar to the body wash, um, but obviously it's a body lotion. I'm very curious to see. I, I want to open this, okay. Let's see. Oh, we're unsealing it. He did it. Okay, what's it smell like? <sighs> what is that? It smells like Christmas. Where? It smells like... Christmas candy. You're joking. It smells like body lotion. I don't know. Smell that. It just smells like. I really smell like? thought you thought it smelled like Christmas. Right, now so I'm curious what this confused. smells like. Probably the same. Mm. Don't put it in your mouth. I didn't see anything. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it smells okay, but it smells a bit like berries, I think. Yeah. But that's it. I mean, that's the only connection <laughs> to Christmas that we can find. Okay, we'll carry on. Door seven. Is it door seven or six? Door six. Six. It's right there. Another nail file. You're getting so many things out of this Ooh, I got lovely it calendar. It's a different design than the previous one. Yeah. So there you go. It's um, like reddish, purple, red, pink, something like that with pink stars on it. Um, similar to the other one, you can have that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm getting something out of this. I mean, See, I'm not, it's great. I'm not doing this for free. <laughs> Let's move to door seven, which is right here. Okay, so this is a lip balm in Christmas icing very cute let's see oh it's one of those that are like it looks a bit like glue it's definitely glue that could probably it smells nice though it smells like the lotion it smells it like coconut? vanilla no it's vanilla it's really strongly yeah all right it's really strongly a vanilla okay next we have number eight which is the big one here
Oh, bath salts. This is fun Ooh. in toasted marshmallow again. So a big, well, medium big, I don't know, size of bath salts. I'm curious about this. I, I'm, I really want to see if this and the fizzes actually work. Um, because I did a while back, I did purchase stuff like this that just did nothing. Okay, number nine is this big one right here. So this is a tiny loofah. I think this is very cute and I, it has a hair on it. Oh no. It's a hair, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Um, okay. Not ideal. I might not use this. <laughs> I will just dispose of this carefully. Okay. Right. Moving on to door 10, which is right here. I'm scared now. A little bit, <laughs> so, yeah. Another lip balm and this, this is in Winterberry. Again, it's very similar to the other one. I think exactly the same, except for the flavor that is different. Oh no, this is red and that is pink packaging. Uh, with the little pink stars. Okay. So is it this is the same thing? No, it's a different scent. Oh. That is weird. That smells like straight up candy. It does. So this is this is where the Pez comes from. <laughs> I think okay. so. We have found the mystery. Okay, we have two left. So we have eleven and twelve. Let's do eleven right here now. Oh, this is cute. So it's winterberry bath salts that are pink so that is very cute with a little reindeer on it nice i like that and then finally the 12th door which is right there oh a little hand cream actually it's not that little uh in winter berry this might be useful actually uh, and it's very cute design. Yep. I have to. I really like the design um, of everything. Not quite sure on the quality of things. Um, how would you feel? So, if you were a girl and you would get this for Christmas, would you enjoy it? Honestly. Yes. I like the box. So, so the That's box. That's a is great cute. start. So I like the box. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shape. Uh, it has a nose on it. Uh, and you can open doors, but mm. I mean, even as a male individual, I'm still disappointed in all this. It, it, they're cute. I mean, they're still cute. I, I mean, I don't think you would be the target audience no. for this. This is definitely a more like a younger person or someone that's just starting say, out. If you're like 12, and yeah, you get definitely. This, this yeah. is fun. I, I would love that. Even if I was a 12 year old boy, like this would be, I would eat those bath salts. No, but <clears throat> I mean, I would not eat them now, but. <laughs> um, so I don't know. It, it's 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 for a younger audience. I mean, I would in a scale of one to ten, a strong five. Mm, a high strong praise. Five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Cool. Let's move on to the next one. Yep.